Do you want to know three ways so you can record your screen in Windows 11? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. And today, before we go any further, make sure that you pop over to my YouTube channel and that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on this video so that you get notified when more content comes out. So today, I'm gonna to be talking about recording your screen in Windows 11, although it applies as well to Windows 10. Lots of people ask me all the time how to record their screen. That might be that they're sharing a demo of something with some colleagues on Microsoft Teams, uh, or they want to upload something to YouTube, start their own channel, etc. So there are three easy ways that you can record content straight away in Windows. So let's have a look at this. So here I am in Windows. So the first one is built right into Windows and it's called Game Bar. So if you hit the Windows and G key, you get the Game Bar interface. It looks a bit like this. Um, now up here, you can see that there is this capture area. So you can capture stills and things like this, but you can also capture video. And it shows that the shortcut key for that is Windows, Alt and R. Now I, I've tried to click it there, but it says gaming features aren't available for the Windows desktop or file explorer. So this is one of the downsides of the game bar is that you can't share your screen, the start menu, you know, things like Windows Explorer, etc. You can't record those in Windows game bar, but it's great at recording a single application. So here I am in Edge, um, I could press Windows and G and you can see that that record button's now been enabled. Um, or I could use the shortcut key that Alt uh, Win, Alt, and R, uh, and then you can see just up there in the top right, there's this recording bar that's come up here, showing me how long I've been recording for. I can uh, use the microphone if I want to narrate over the top or turn the microphone off. Um, and then when I'm done, all I need to do is click that stop recording button um, and it's done. Now, that, where is that saved? That goes into your videos file on your uh, onto your device. So there's a folder here called captures and it's actually taken the window title of that application to use that to help you uh, kind of archive your videos. So that's the first way is using Game Bar built right into Windows. Now the second one is using PowerPoint. So uh, hopefully you'll have PowerPoint uh, accessible to you through Office 365. And if you do, all you need to do is go onto Insert and then go to the end and go to Screen Recording, okay? Uh, now I could just hit record straight away and that would record the whole screen or I could select an area. So if I hit select, I'm actually just gonna record the whole screen anyway, but you can see you can drag out there how much of the screen you want to do. And within here, you can also uh, select whether you're going to record audio at the same time or whether you're going to record the pointer. So you might not actually want to record the, um, the arrow pointer while you're doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, hit record. It gives me this little countdown and I can see win logo and shift and Q to be able to stop that. Um, or you can hover back up the top there. So, but the great thing here is this records everything. So Windows, uh, if I pop here into, into Edge browser here, it's onto the YouTube channel, uh, et cetera. And I can hover up the top there and hit stop. And then now this has put this right into PowerPoint. So I can hit play straight into here. Now what you can see, if I just, uh, just go back a bit here, is you can see that where that scroll bar, but uh, where the toolbar thing popped down from the top, um, it, that's part of my recording. So I'd want to trim that out. Now you can do that right in PowerPoint. If you hit the playback tab, there's a button here that says trim video, and then you can drag that in and it gives you a little preview in the window, there you go. Uh, and I can drag that at the end, there we go. And then all I need to do is click okay. Uh, and then if, so I can either leave it in PowerPoint like this, or if I want to save it off and use it somewhere else, I'll just right click to save media as, let's just stick it in the videos again. Um, and I'm gonna call this PPT capture. Now you'll notice that actually while I was recording, I did go up the top and I hit that uh, toolbar at the top. So just need to be careful of that. Um, but here it is here now. So I've got my PowerPoint capture. Um, it's saved as an MP4 uh, format. Uh, same same as the uh, game bar recordings. Okay, so the last one is OBS. Now OBS is completely free. Uh, you can get it uh, onto on your device uh, on Macs and PCs, etc. Now, if you go to obsproject.com, you can see here it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, all you need to do is hit the download button. It should detect which operating system you're on, but if you don't 
want that one, you can download an alternative one. And then you can just hit download installer and then install it onto your device. So I've already got it here. So I'm going to click onto OBS. So this is brand new as uh, nothing's been done here at all. So I'm going to hit plus down on these sources. Now I can either capture an individual window or I can do display capture will capture the whole screen. So let's do that display capture. Um, I'm just going to click OK. And then uh, you can, well, that's weird there. Uh, and I can just pick which one. So I've only got one display. So that's the one that I want there. And I can, again, I can choose whether I'm going to capture the cursor and then click OK. So you can see here that we've got this, this weird thing where it goes in and in and in and in and in. But that's fine. So all I need to do is click Start Recording. Uh, oh, actually, I need to click Settings first, sorry, before I do Start Recording. Um, and I just need to change a couple of settings. So um, if you go to the output, it says where you're going to store it. And then I can also say what format. So I'm going to change it to MP4. Okay, I'm going to apply. Um, and then the other one is I just want to look at the video resolution. Because here, if I go to video, the input is 1920 by 1080 or 1080p. But the output is 720, so 720p. So it's made a bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up that to 1920 by 1080. So it'll be exactly the same. Okay, now I can go and hit start recording. Okay, let me just minimize OBS. And again, same as before, I can switch between apps. I can look here uh, on Microsoft Edge, go to the YouTube channel. Uh, it'll also record the desktop, the start menu, all of those kind of things, and uh, or even PowerPoint as well. And then when I'm done, if I can go to OBS and I just hit stop recording, and there you go, I can see that that's uh, stopped recording. And then if I'm done, I can hit exit down there or you can you can do it at the top as well. Um, so again, that saves in exactly the same place again. It saves it into that videos file. There it is there. And it's given it a date stamp. So if I just open this up. But again, it's a bit like the PowerPoint one. You can see there, if I just go back to oh, uh, the start, you can see that, that we've got the OBS bit. Um, so there's just a pencil here. Uh, and if I click that pencil and do trim, okay, this gives me a, a really simple video editor that's built into Windows 10 and Windows 11. And again, I can drag those handles in from that end and drag it in from the end. There we go. And then when I'm happy with that, I just click save a copy. There we go. And if I just close that and close that video there you go and you can see that it's popped it in exactly the same uh, directory there in the videos and it's just got trim on the end so there we go all slick there uh, we've kind of chopped off the bits that we don't need at the start and the end so there you have it three easy ways that you can record your video in windows 11 and windows 10 as well um, two are completely free, so we have there the Windows Game Bar, so hit Windows and G to start that up, or you can hit Alt Windows R to start recording straight away. But remember, you can't do the entire screen, you can only do an individual application. Uh, but if you want to do the entire screen completely for free, you could download OBS and set that up there to record your entire screen. And then the last one we had there was PowerPoint. Um, so if you've already got Microsoft 365, Although it's not free because you're paying for it, it's kind of free because you're not paying anything else for it. So hopefully you found this useful. You can share this video with somebody else. Uh, hopefully you're finding it, all of the uh, videos on the channel really useful. So make sure that you like, subscribe, and again, hit that notification bell so you get notified when new content is posted. So please like, share, tell a colleague about it, uh, tell someone else about this channel, and I'll see you again on another video.